What is going on, YouTube? Modsville, USA, back with another PS Vita tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at da -da 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 -da, Retro Arc. There she is. So if you follow my other videos, you probably already have this uh, VPK installed, but this video is going to be a more in-depth setup tutorial. Show you how to get yours looking like mine. Let me fuck with this exposure a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay. So let me show you what I got on mine so far. So we've got PC Engine. Uh, maybe a little less exposure. Yeah, that, the colors look better. Kind of there. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we got PC Engine and we've got artwork for all of these. And I'm going to tell you right now, this was not as easy as it could have been um, there is an option under online updater thumbnail updater but a lot of them don't work so I'll, I'll teach you how to get around that shortly so we got the full turbo graphics Game Boy Advanced Game Boy Color Game Boy Pokemon Mini Super NES Virtual Boy 32X Game Gear we got the Master System we got Genesis now there's more that's possible we got Load Core um, Final Burn Alpha which is arcade games we got MAME uh, Apparently they recommend you do Final Burn Alpha if you get one of those ROM sets. 2600, 7800, Atari Lynx, Wonder Swan, Commodore 64, we got Dooms, uh, some old Microsoft Jazz there, Quake 1, you can do Sega CD games even. I know the Sega Saturn one's super spotty so I wouldn't recommend it. Sinclair SM uh, Neo Geo Pocket that would be kind of tight. PS1, if you want to do PS1 games, just uh, get them on uh, PKGJ and play them in the PSP emulator. It'll be pretty much perfect. So you might as well go that route. Uh, first thing you'll notice in game is. Um, the mapping of the buttons is Japanese so circle is select X is back and let me just show you show you a game running we'll go into splatter house bada boom hit start pretty much every game has been running pretty good so far uh, one thing worth noting is exiting a game is very difficult. The combination is left, right, uh, start, and select. So you kind of have to go in a claw motion to get out of a game. Let's see if I can do it kind of on the camera. Jesus Christ, yeah, that's brutal. Okay. Hmm close the content and we back all right that's pretty much the rundown of using retro arc um, but let's get you guys set up like me so down in the description there's a link to an archive of all the no intro ROM sets I would recommend grabbing those um, all the image packs are four no intro ROM sets so I would just use no intro ROM sets if you want the artwork to work if you don't care about the artwork then just use whatever ROM sets you got but I think the art is pretty nice I should also mention that the art 
does lag a little bit. So if we were to scroll around crazily, it would take forever. Not forever, but it's got to catch up. What I like to do is if there's a game I know I want to play, you just hit triangle, type the letter uh, G. G start. And we end the G's. So that's a neat little trick. But anyway, let's get on the computer and get you guys set up. Just real quick, before we do all this computer jazz, we're going to be transferring files, so you might as well get up. Get up here. Oh, focus. There you are. Go into your Vita shell. All right, now that we're here in Vita shell, just hit select and do your FTP or USB, however you want to do it. If you're using an SD to Vita, like I am, what I'd recommend doing is powering the console off, popping the SD card out, putting it in your computer, transferring the files, put it back in and restart your Vita. You can't hot swap it, but transfer is way faster than FTP. If you can, do USB for sure. So I'm going to be pulling my SD card out and messing with the files on my computer. If you're doing it FTP, uh, UX0 is the folder we're going to be in. You should be able to get it from there. All right, I'll see you on the computer. All right, so we're here on our computer. Now you're going to want to go down into the description and click the archive.org link uh, for the no intro collection and you'll be pleasantly surprised with the kind of stuff you see here it'll, it'll blow your damn socks off so we got full sets for Atari 5200 Jaguar 7800 Lynx ST Casio Commodore 64 uh, all these Nintendos Turbo Graphics Super Graphics Basically everything, dudes. This is like everything. So choose what you want. Um, grab it. And make sure you own every game for that console. If you want to be within the law. I happen to own every game. I'm quite a hoarder. Every game I have on my retro arc. I got sitting around here. Or I had it sitting around. At one point in time, I bought it. So, you know... If you want to bend the rules, you know, that's on you. You got to sleep at night. But as for me, I'm, I'm good. I'm golden. I'm in the clear. So, yeah. Just be, be aware of that. Or don't be. Whatever. You do you. So, that's that. So, you grabbed your ROMs. And you got your Vita hooked up. Now, as you see, this is my Vita. This is my... UX0 folder. So if you're going from FTP uh, or USB or whatever, you go uh, UX0 and then you should see something like this. So, uh, so yeah. Your RetroArch data is going to be in here. When we grab the thumbnails, they're going to go in here. You could make a ROMs folder in here. But that's not what I did. I put my ROMs folder uh, right here on the root of UX0. That works out fine. If you put them in other folders, uh, your mileage may vary. But I can confirm that UX0 is perfectly fine for ROMs. So yeah, you're just, all you're going to need to do is you, you're going to grab those zip files, make a new folder corresponding console so I got 32x dragged it in here this is my Game Boy Color and it doesn't need to be this format it could be 32x and then it's all the ROMs but it can scan a couple folders deep so this is fine now where it gets a little weird is you're also gonna wanna grab RetroArch for your PC should be fine on Linux and maybe even other platforms uh, maybe even Mac 
could be good. Um, so you're just going to want to download for your operating system. Mine's 64-bit, so I would have gotten this. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to install it. Once you install it, you're going to want to open it. And you'll see something like this. And then you just go down to online updater, thumbnail updater, and download whatever files did not work through the online updater on your PS Vita. I only got like two to work, like Game Boy Color and something else. I forgot what it was. So you're just going to download, download them from here. They will work perfectly with the no intro ROM sets. And then once you do that, once they're all downloaded, you're going to find them in your C drive, user, uh, whatever username you are, app data, and make sure you got view, um, hidden items is checked. Make sure that is the case. You go into app data, roaming, retro arc, thumbnails. And here they are. So whatever ones you grab that you're going to use, you're going to copy to, say copy this, you're going to copy that to UX0 data, RetroArch, thumbnails. It's the same file format on the Vita as it is on your PC. So you're going to paste your thumbnails right here and then you're good all right so you got everything transferred uh, let's get back on the Vita all right dudes once you got your files on your Vita it's all booted back we're in retro arc all you gotta do is scroll to import content Scan directory UX zero ROMs and then I would recommend doing them one at a time. This will take quite a while. And honestly I had issues um with the Vita going to sleep and it canceling what it was doing. So I'm gonna show you a trick after this. If you're having the same issue as me, pretty simple. All right, and once you scan all those directories, if you put your art in the right place, it will show up. Now, for some reason, doing the scan broke my artwork, just trying to do that. But when we load it up, it will be fine. And I will show you that. So if you're having issues where your Vita just keeps going to sleep and screwing you over, making you have to start over, just go down here in the power save settings and set this to 30 minutes. Uh, you want to have it on as long as possible. Every once in a while, just uh, push a button, make sure it uh, resets itself the timer and let it keep scanning obviously you're going to want to plug your Vita in for this as it's going to be taking quite a while now if we go back into RetroArch oh no we got to close it now let me know in the comments if you know how to close an app I haven't figured it out so all I do is just open another one pretty dumb I should know how to do that but I don't what guy that but I don't all right and here we are back and as you can see our artwork is intact ta-da ta-da well that's pretty much it man this is the ult I would say this is the ultimate uh, emulation experience on a portable console is this is insane you got everything it's all in one place it's neat you got your artwork 
It's pretty damn nice. Um, beats where the Nintendo Switch is at right now. And it's the the very nice XMB RetroArch. It's a beautiful thing. Very suiting on a PlayStation Portable. So yeah, guys. That's all there is to it. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment if you got questions or, you know, whatever. Whatever you got to say. If you want to say, tell me to suck a dick, that's fine too. I don't care. Um, I'm going to throw some videos, some related videos up on the screen. I want to check one of those out. And subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching. Modsville. See you on the other side.